Hey guys, a uh, quick update here. So um, last video that we did actually is just for 14 and below. So I got to change the description on that one. This is for 15, okay? Or 15 or any um, OS that's currently out at the moment. Um, this is a 7 Pro that is carrier locked. And this was an issue with the, um, the last video that we put out is that I guess um, on some devices, the unlock would stop working after 10 or 20 minutes. So um, this one has now been on for an hour and a half. This is a Spectrum um, locked Pixel 7 Pro that we uh, have a Verizon SIM in. And I'm um, showing the settings that this is not an unlocked device. So, and then the uh, the process that I'm going to show you does not do the uh, OEM unlocking, so you can't downgrade software or anything like that. Um, so, but you will be able to uh, factory or, you know, uh, you can update software. The only thing on this guy is that once you do a factory reset, you'd have to uh, redo this, uh, this process. So, um, let's kind of skip into this here. So, this is a... And this is a 7 Pro running 15. So 7 Pro running 15 and uh, good to go. Um, we're going to do this a little bit different. So you do need a computer for this and ADB. I'm going to walk you through the steps. Okay, so on the 8 Pro here, so again, this is locked to Spectrum. This is a Pixel 8 Pro. And we are currently on Android 15, okay? So first things first, what we're gonna do is take out the SIM card. So take the SIM card out and leave it out until we're done here. So I'm going to go into system, reset, and do a factory data reset. I'll be right back with you once this cycles through. Okay, so we're rebooted and SIM card is still out. So do not put the SIM card back in until we're done, okay? So we're just gonna skip through here. Um, all the menus do not connect to any Wi-Fi network. Just skipping through the settings here. We'll skip. And again, guys, this is on 15, so your menus might look a little bit different when you're going in uh, to them, but we wanna go to apps. And then you wanna go up top here, show system. And then just look, you can type in set. And we wanna go to device setup. So click on that guy. And this Wi-Fi data usage here, what we want to do is just turn it off. So uh, it's restricted. And keep in mind, if you do a um, an update on your software, you can do that and <clears throat> keep your carrier on lock. Um, but what you have to do is right before you update your software, you have to go into airplane mode, reboot your device, come back in here, clear the cache, and then just do this this process. Uh, one more time, just this part. Um, so this is the first step is just disabling the um, device setup. And then what we need to do is go in and go to settings and we're going to uh, turn on developer options. So we just go to about phone, click the build number and system. And again, this is not going to affect the uh, OEM unlock on this, but this will give you carrier unlock for any SIM card until you factory reset your device. So you want to click allow. And then we're going to plug into the computer. And we're looking for the, um, the ADB prompt. 
So I'm going to start up ADB on my computer and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step here. Give me one second. Okay, so there's a link in the description on how to install the, um, the minimal ADB. Uh, but basically, you just go to our website, which is techie.com, and then click the, uh, the menu tab. I'll show you here where it's at. So let's go to our, our, uh, our website, techie.com, and then go to more, and then scroll down to ADB. And then you'll see the, the minimal ADB. So you can just click on that. It's going to be downloaded there. Go ahead and open it. You need to extract it. So just extract all. And then you can simply open it. And right there. So just go ahead and click yes. And then now we're, let's set this guy up again. Okay, so then you launch him. And here we are. So your pixel is plugged in still to your computer and um, unlock the screen. So it looks like this and you're gonna simply put in ADB space devices okay and what we want is a prompt to allow on the phone so now we just got it so click always and then allow okay now we're done with the phone so now the computer recognizes our device let me just double check okay so you want it to say uh, device attached, you can see right up here, I just checked it because it showed offline because I was kind of slow to hit the prompt. But um, after you get to the point where you're actually connected, it should look like that on your computer. And we're going to enter in, I'm going to put these in the notes here. Okay, so these are going to be five copy and paste lines. Okay, so we'll just copy the first one, go back to ADB. And then you just click enter. We're gonna go back to our list here. Copy. Paste. Enter. Go back. So now we're on number three. This is a similar configuration to the very first um, one line ADB command that uh, was probably the one of the first of its kind to unlock pixels, but this is a more detailed version of it because you can't just use the one liner anymore. So let's go into number four here. So copy. Paste and enter, and then we're gonna do the last line. So this this does not restrict your device at all. Okay, so you can you don't have to be like on the VPNs. Uh, you can literally do anything you can think of, um, except for factory reset. So after you factory reset, uh, you're gonna have to do this process again. So after we've done the the fifth um, ADB command, there we are all set. So now we can put the uh, SIM card back in. Okay, so now we're back. And I popped the SIM card in. As you can see, nothing has changed on the actual menu in here, but we do have signal and now this has been in for so we've been in for 10 minutes at this point um, show you that it works and again this, this is going to be a more um, this is going to be the only solution for 15 at the Welcome moment to uh, you can see we're good to go there's no vpns nothing like that needed you don't need a meter in any of the 
the networks at all. You can use Wi-Fi, you can reboot your device. I'll do that in a second. Let me just reboot here. So you see that has no effect. So again, we're back up and running, no issues, no VPN needed. Um, hope this helps guys. Any questions, let me know in the notes.